Oh, that one's killing drag. Here, take this one. This is a tank. Right, this one too. Yep. Here, I'll get yours in. All right. I got it, I got it. Here we go, another fish. Right, guys using live bluegill see if we can get Alex a flathead wow look at that barge actually a few of them That's on the live bluegill. Hey, what'd I tell you about coming down here? Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, this is a good one. They pull, don't they? Yeah. Guys. Oh man, what is this? That's a flathead. That's what it is. Is it too dark to see from my camera? I think he's pretty small though, but that's okay. Let me. I don't think he's that small. Okay. <laughs> I well, think it's over 10 pounds. We'll see. Which would be a new PB. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. He may be ratting that other line there. Uh -oh. this one yeah, when when he when he jukes that line, he might be in that line. Oh, I think he's free of that. Here he comes. He's almost up to the top. Right, just keep him there. I'm gonna get my flashlight going here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Here we go. Barely hooked. Nice. All right, got him. Awesome. Let's weigh it. When was the last time you caught a flathead? Like two years ago. Nine point six. Nine point six. That's like right at your PB or it is. That I'm gonna say it's tied. If we go over ten, I'll count it as a PB. Alright guys, we just tied his PB flathead at nine pounds. I mean it's a good one. So let's go and put him in the water. 
I'll have you do it. Nice start to the evening for the flatheads. Shine that light on my camera lens real quick. All right, looks good. Come on. I think it's ready. Yeah. There you go, swimming down. Hey. Perfect. Nice. Nox. And guys, we're fishing more down in the gorge now. Deeper water. Um, out here, it's like 50 feet. Then it gets to 40. 30 and then 20 feet so it's kind of like a shelf we have and within five minutes of setting up we got our first fish nine pound flathead Yep. Santee Cooper rigs. This is a good fish. Good right, fish. Let's see what we got here. We got to make sure he does not go over there. Yeah. This is a good fish. Oh, a, double. Oh yeah. Oh, it is on, dude. We just doubled up. All right. Now that that fucking music's off, let's get back over here and see if I can catch this fish. Oh, that one's peeling drag. Here, take this one. This is a tank. Right, this one too. Yep. Here, I'll get yours in. All right. I got it, I got it. Here we go, another fish. Easily 25. If it's over 22. Yeah, I don't think it's 28, but it's definitely... Uh, this one's getting mad. Peeling drag? Did he come off? No, 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 no. Keep going. Real, 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 real. Is he on there? I have no idea what's happening. Oh, no. Maybe it came off. It came off. Did it really? Yeah. Did it break the line or? No, it just come off. Oh, that was around the head too. It, uh, it started pulling really hard and then it gave. I think it was like hooked in the flesh and it kind of ripped out. Did it feel pretty big though or? Once it started pulling, it felt more like that one, yeah. Okay, well, let's get this one in. There we go. Looks like a good one. Woo -hoo -hoo. <sighs> nice. That is bigger. That looks like a PB for me, I think. Ah, uh, I think 25. We'll weigh them. It's so long though. I really wish that one would have. Mmm, that one was on the skipjack head. Whew. It's all right though. It's all right. 25.3. 25 pounds. 25. Look at that thing. That's its harp. It is a tarp. Yep, it's its harp. I'm going to weigh this one just to see or. Mm. Yeah, just to try and guess weights. Right? What I'm going to say this one's 10. I'm going to say 12. 12.7. Oh, good job. All right, guys, we got a 12 pounder and a 25. And then we missed one on the skipjack head. It just unbuckled, unfortunately. That happens. All right. Go and release that one. Nice. Wow. 25 pound blue catfish. That's a tank, dude. That's a nice fish.
Back to the depths. Hey. Good fish. Good fish. So check this out. We actually had one on this rod and just took the bait and it was a, I mean, that rod was buried. Yeah, wolf. I mean, and then immediately after that, we had some pleasure boater turn on some loud music and <laughs> You probably missed most of the fight. I apologize on that, but YouTube and copyright music, you know how the game goes. So, and then one rod, so another rod went down. That was the 12 pounder. And then another rod went down. That was the 25 pounder. And then as we got those two fish in the boat, then this rod here just buried down. And I want to show you this because it breaks my heart just a little bit but it was right on the skipjack head. Whenever you fish with big heads, whether it's a big bluegill head, skipjack head, white bass head, whatever, it's sometimes it can be hard for, for you to hook the fish. And that's why some people use two hooks, you know, in the head, just because it's, it can be difficult for the hook to hook the fish. I mean, it's just how it is, unfortunately, but that's just part of the game guys you can't win them all you win some you lose some we're back at the boat ramp we only caught three fish one flathead two blues alex i appreciate you coming man thanks for having me yeah chattanooga always a pleasure fishing with you overall a really good trip now that uh the water has cooled down some the weather's cooled down big fish are starting to bite again which is good so fall is definitely in the air He'll be back again probably in the spring. We'll do a smallmouth bass fishing trip since we were not able to get on any this trip. But as always, guys, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later. And keep it realistic. That's right.